Hello friends, my name is Suraj. Welcome back. If it's your first time here, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. It's free, free, free. Don't forget to ring the bell. Ding dong. Today's episode is a bit about biology. Oops, cardiology. Ha ha ha. Don't you worry my friends. It's more of a biologic video. So, grab your pack of chips and sit back while I tell you about this fist-sized organ called the heart, what it does, and how you can take good care of it. Please watch my video till the end as I will also share some fun facts about this vital organ. Simply represented as a heart, but its shape is more complex than that. So let's look at my sketch of the heart. This, my friends, is the heart, a muscular organ which pumps fresh oxygenated blood throughout your body. Now, blue deoxygenated blood, also known as impure blood, uh, and, uh, re and red is uh, oxygenated blood, um, also known as pure blood, which has oxygen. And blue, it's uh, it doesn't have oxygen. Okay, let's start the process. Deoxygenated blood, also known as impure blood, from the brain, arms, and uh, and neck come through into the heart in and into the right atrium through the superior vena cava over here. Over here, and here's the right atrium. Blood from the lower body uh, comes to to the right atrium, and the heart through the inferior vena cava, which is over here. Then the tricuspid valve opens, sending th this impure blood to the right ventricle. The tricuspid valve is over here, and the right ventricle is over here. Next, the right ventricle gives a, right, a light contraction and the pulmonary valve, which is over here, opens. And, and sending that blood to the pulmonary arteries, which sends the blood to the left and right lungs. And then uh, the blood picks up oxygen in the lungs and comes back into the heart through the pulmonary veins which are over here into the left atrium which is over here keep in mind that arteries uh, uh, take carry blood away from the heart while uh, they both start with a so um you can remember that right and veins carry blood to the heart hmm and um, your heart prevents blood from going backwards uh, thanks to four valves, which are the tricuspid valve, the pulmonary valve, the mitral and the bic, or also called as uh, the bicuspid valve, and the aortic valve. And um, and so these valves keep the blood from going backwards. Yahoo! Okay, back to the blood process. Next, your mitral or bicuspid valve opens, sending the blood to the left ventricle, which is over here, the main pumping chamber. And then the left ventricle contracts, uh, and the aortic valve opens, which is over here, sending the blood to your aorta. A, a, into a part called the aortic arc, arch, or arc, or whatever you want to call it. Ha <laughs> ha On the top, you can see three arteries, the brachiocephalic trunk, and if you go a bit forward to your, uh, into the brachiocephalic trunk, you can see it breaks into two, the right subclavian artery, which is over here, and the right common carotid artery. And in the middle, we have the left common caro uh, uh, the left common carotid artery, and on the left side, we have the left subclavian artery. 
The common carotid arteries um, uh, take uh, oxygenated blood to their corresponding sides of the brain. Like the left common carotid artery to the left side of the brain and the right common carotid artery to the right side of the brain. And the subclavian arteries take uh, the blood to the corresponding R. Like the right subclavian artery, which is over here, to the right arm, and the left subclavian artery to the left arm. Yahoo! If the blood is sent to go um, uh, down and, uh, into your lower body, uh, it continues through the aortic arc and continues through the aorta, and then the aorta goes behind the heart and becomes a thoracic aorta. And when uh, it enters the abdominal cavity, it becomes the abdominal aorta. And voila! That's how blood flows through your heart. Now it's time for tips on how to keep your heart healthy. Oh, drum roll! Tip 1. Don't smoke. It's one of the best things you can do. Smoking not only affects your lungs by breathing in the smoke, but do you remember where the pulmonary arteries, the pulmonary arteries take your blood to? Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, you're right if you said the lungs. If you're smoking, your blood will pick up the smoky oxygen and will be, let's say, smoky and dirty. Ha ha ha. You like my jokes? I'm sure you did. Tip two. Regulate the amount of cholesterol you take in. And eat nutritious food. Your heart will love you if you do this. If you intake too much cholesterol, it will cause a fatty sum substance called plaque to build up in your arteries and veins, making a blockage. This is a healthy artery. This is uh, when your plaque forms. Hmm, that looks already dirty. But be ready for stage three, a major block, a major blockage. Whoa, that looks disgusting. You can say the uh, even more disgusting for stage four. It's flu. It's a full blockage. Whoa. Better safe than sorry, so um, don't take in too much cholesterol. Here are some of the nutritious foods that are good for your heart. Salmon, which is full of omega-3. Oats contains avenantramides. Av, 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 I don't even know how to pronounce it. Sorry, guys! Okay, herbs, which are antioxidants. Almonds, rich in plant sterols, broccoli, full of vitamin C and E, oranges, full of potassium and their potassium rich fruits, and for all the chocolate lovers out there, including me, don't chocolate! You never knew that was healthy for your heart, right? Well, now you know! You always learn something new on Suenchi Zone. Yay! Okay, dark chocolate has a lot of cocoa! Okay, tip three, maintain a healthy weight by exercising, like this guy over here. Your heart will be like, woohoo! Your heart will get trained because it has to um, send more blood to your, to the parts of your body. And that's how your heart uh, will uh, be trained to um uh, maintain uh, high be high beating levels, but not too much high beating levels. Okay? Okay, time for some fun facts with Suanj. They're fun and they're facts with Suanj. That's me! Uh -huh. Fun fact one, your heart pumps 2,000 gallons of blood a day. Yes, you heard me correct, 2,000 gallons of blood a day. Little, uh, um, uh, a little buckets which are each weigh um, 500 gallons of blood. You do the math. Ha! <laughs> okay, don't worry. 500 twos are, are 1,500, 3, 1,500, and 500 fours. 2,000. Well, that's a lot of blood, isn't it? Tough heart. Fun fact 
to your heart beats about 115,000 times a day. Today I'm going to beat 100,000 uh, um, and 115,000 times a day as usual. That's a piece of cake. I mean, what? Ha ha ha. Fun fact 3. An elephant's heart weighs about 46 pounds. When a human's heart barely weighs half a pound. And the elephant says, Oof, my heart is heavy. That's what the elephant thinks and also would say. You can say that again, walking elephant. Ha ha ha. Fun fact 4. Your heart beats 35 million times a year. Whoa, that's a lot. Woohoo, I'm one year old and I've achieved. Uh, okay, it just went. So your heart beats 35 million times a year. Okay. Fun fact 5. The heart can continue beating even when it's disconnected from the body. I'm gonna keep beating whatever you do. That's what I, I made a new song called that. <laughs> And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, don't forget to hit that big thumbs up button, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more biological videos like this. And bye bye from the heart, and bye bye from Sumach, and bye bye from all the organs. See you in the next episode. Stay safe and stay happy. Stay and stay at home because of coronavirus.